Okay, so here we have a Dell Optiplex all in one 3011. Look, it's a uh, touch screen, it's very nice, but it's just a little bit slow. I mean, works perfectly well, works as well as when you bought it, but I'd like to give it a bit of a boost. So, what we're going to do, we're going to swap and we're going to put a solid state drive in, replacing the existing traditional hard disk. So, it's very easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. Here it goes. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get the Optiplex flipper over. All we need to do then is come in here, just take this little thing off the back. We don't need much. No equipment, Phillips head screwdriver, and a solid state drive. Okay, so first thing we need to do is remove these screws here. Holding the stand on. Very easy peasy, and that stand just comes away. And here's a, the slightly tricky part. We've got to try and get the back off. Okay, so we just grab it by the side, and it's just sort of under here, on both sides, just sort of lift. And this gap, and once you get the break away, it comes away very easily. Okay, so these are the insides. Um, not much to see really. What's important is in here is where our hard disk is uh, on the existing machine. So we just loosen this cable up from the side. There's three screws, one here, get it out, one here, and one here. So just remove these screws. Last one, tricky one out. Come on, come to daddy. Alright, then it's just a matter of sliding this backwards. So you see that we're attached by a cable there. So we'll just disconnect that cable. Set this up. Yeah, there we go. Pull that cable out. Now we're just going to Remove the uh, screws here on the uh, sides to get the, the old hard disk out of this KD. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to take the, replace that old traditional hard drive with a solid state drive. So let's take it out of the wrapper. Uh, off the protective tag. Now we just need to make sure that we line this up, make sure we've got this lined up the right way. And that the uh, this is going to line up to match with the, the cables there. And we just take one of the screws that was used to attach the chassis. And the back screw hole here. 
all we should need to hold this in place is the, the, it's quite light. Probably ideally you put them all in. If you want to get a proper um, caddy you could do that, but this is just a, a quick and cheap fix. As I said, it's very light and once we get the cable onto it here, we'll attach the cable. That will hold it in place unless you're going to be moving this computer around a lot, which most of the time doesn't happen with computers. Like these. Put it in place. You've still got two of these little screws you can put back in, use to hold the, the caddy back in place. Oop, get that in the right spot there. There we go. One screw and the second one comes in. Then what we need to do, put the, uh, the casing back on, back in, make sure you go around, make sure you get it all put in place. The, uh, the stand, put the caddy back in place, make sure you use the, the right screws, not the ones for the caddy because they're a different size. One, two, three, four screws back in place. Last one. Get it done. Put the cover back on here. And there we are. All done. Ready to install the new operating system. Ready to go.